What are you saying, geezers? Spessy here with my favourite decks for the new Battle Pass card, Modok. This is a 5 energy 8 stack card, which on reveal discards your hand. I spent a long time theory crafting these decks. Give the video a like if you are excited for Modok. First up, the all-in Hella deck. Hella doesn't need any more than one discard now. You can play Invisible Woman on 2, Modok on 5, and on turn 6, Hella into the Invisible Woman lane, of course. And then bang, your whole hand gets discarded. Hella's going to re-summon everything to the board. Quite amazing. Of course, this is a very risky deck because if you don't draw Invisible Woman, if you don't draw Modok and you don't draw Hella, the deck is bust. However, you could draw Modok, play it on five, and then flukily draw Hella on turn number six. That is one possibility, which is the main reason Chavez is not in this deck. So you have the opportunity to still draw Hella on six. Sunspot is a card because you're going to skip a lot of turns. You can play it on turn one. I would honestly argue you don't need this card. You could just put in another big card of choice. Something like a Captain Marvel could be a nice option. And then Sandman is in here because we don't have anything we want to play on turn four. And this is going to limit the cards our opponent can play per turn. We're only ever playing one card per turn. But if we're playing against someone that's got Mr. Negative, a Zabu, a Silver Surfer deck, where they want to... On turn 5 and 6, play multiple cards. Sandman is really reducing the power of our opponent's deck. Well, not coming at much cost to ourselves. Of course, this is going to be sad if we draw it on turn 5 or 6. Because it's going to be one of the cards summoned off of Hella. But we're going to have so many points that it shouldn't matter too much even in that case. Here is a more traditional Hella deck where we still have discards in the shape of Lady Sif and Hellcow. We also have a Ghost Rider just in case our... Hella gets discarded. I'm personally not a huge fan of Ghost Rider in these styles of decks because it does just feel like a big high roll card. So I would be pretty tempted to maybe put Blade in or another discard card, for example, instead of this Ghost Rider. Maybe a Sword Master could be a solid option as well. The rest of the cards, we've got Death because Lady Sif is always going to hit Death because she's going to be costing nine. That means Sif cannot discard your Hella. And just lots of big cards. Iron Man for big stats and all the other big boy cards. Okay, up next we have the Lockjaw Maddock Apocalypse deck. You can play this deck without Lockjaw as well because it is going to be pretty risky that you're going to hit Modok off of Lockjaw and then unexpectedly discard your whole hand sooner than you would have liked. However, with Swarm, with Apocalypse and the addition of Helicarrier, which is a Series 4 card a lot of you won't have. If you don't have Helicarrier, do not panic. You can replace this really easily with Gambit, Swordmaster, or Lady Sif. Probably Lady Sif would be the top pick. But Leech has to come into this one. It's one of the key cards as to why Lockjaw Discard is so powerful because you just get this amazing Leech play. Swarm, of course, is going to synergize really nicely with Modok. Apocalypse in hand. Helicarrier does mean that if your Modok goes through, you should still have plenty of cards left to play. America Shavas, of course, giving you that guaranteed turn six play as well if you Modok and just have nothing left in hand going into the final turn. This is probably the highest potential deck, I would say. For Modok, whether it makes it better or worse remains to be seen. I would imagine it does make it better, but slightly more inconsistent. Up next and finally, last but certainly not least, we have a couple of things going on with this deck. It's a strong guy Modok deck where we're going to play Modok on five to discard our whole hand and then Chavez on six. However, we also have some very cool synergy in here with Swarm. We are going to be trying to buff up Swarm with Okoye, with Nakia. Then, if we do discard Swarm, let's say it's 6 power, it gets buffed by both Okoye and Nikia. Our Swarm is going to be at 6 power. Every time we discard Swarm, we're going to get copies of it at 6 power as well. So we have Blade and Kaleen Wing, as well as, Sword, as Swordmaster, as other ways of discarding Swarm. And then, of course, Modok as well could then turbocharge that, meaning we could have a whole bunch of Swarms in our hand on the final turn. Collector is in there, because Collector on the board... And then a discard on Swarm is going to be triggering Collector for more stats. Another interesting bit of synergy we could try with the Collector, if you wanted to build a different version of this deck without Strong Guy, is you could try Collector with Helicarrier as well, because Helicarrier getting discarded is going to be giving the Collector three extra stats as well. So the Collector with Swarm and Helicarrier, definitely some interesting synergy. This one, I didn't put the Helicarrier in. It's really difficult to try and play Strong Guy and heli carrier you might also be wondering why there's no apocalypse in this one well the problem with that is that you would also need a dracula because on turn number six you would play the apocalypse from hand and then chavez would be eaten by the dracula to empty your hand 
for strong guy. Otherwise, what happens, you play Modok on five to discard your Apocalypse. And then you have Apocalypse in hand and Chavez in hand going into turn six. You can only play one of them. So you would need Dracula. But then the mana curve just doesn't work out right. You you need to play strong guy and Dracula on turn four. Modok on five. Chavez on six. It just doesn't work out right. So unfortunately, not going to be a possibility to play strong guy and Apocalypse. At least not consistently. Pretty much impossible. You need some kind of ramp in there. Zabu could possibly enable that in fairness. Uh, if Zabu is... Still costing three, but I kind of doubt that. So it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. These are my decks for Modok. Let me know what you think. Is there any you're excited for? I'm certainly excited to try out the collector as well in these decks. Thanks so much for watching the video and see you on the next one. Bye.